Hello everyone, in this video we're going to do a basic talk chat about Swiper, Ivy, and Council. So, uh, yeah. And check out the, um, the blog post that comes with the video for any sort of updates or additional information not covered in the video. And be sure to check out the, web, you know, the websites truthseekers.io and subscribe to the channel. So I'm not really qualified to do this video, but I'm going to do it anyway because there's some other packages that I want to talk about where you need to at least know the basics of IV and Swiper and Council. So I do want to do this video and I'll probably have to redo it, but that's okay. Anyway, so we'll go ahead and get started and I don't have anything installed right now and I'm just going to go through Dired. So if we do Control X D, you'll notice that you have, you know, diet or whatever. So I have to, right now I have to know what what my uh, options are. And if you do Control X, Control F, then you get this find file thing where you can't, where again you have to know what you're looking for. So Ivy gives you some cool stuff. So let's go ahead and install that. So I will do mx or alt x package install and iv i wrote iv there which is just too long okay and then i think you have to go to the emacs file and do alt x eval buffer to get everything refreshed now we should be able to turn on IV mode. So IV mode, IV mode enabled. So now if I do control X D, I get all these options here. And so you can, uh, there's a couple of the cool things you can do. First of all, you can go straight to the root directory by typing the slash twice, or if you want to go to the home directory, you can just type the little tilde option. And so that'll take you to the home directory. And then there is, uh, also you can scroll through these options by pressing Control N. Notice how it's going down. And then Control P to go up. So you can do that. And then you can also type what you're looking for. So if I type D, it'll show me everything that has D in it. And then you can, um, you know, you can find your folders a lot quicker. So I could do, you know, uh, there, I could type P, and if I want to get to PHP, I can either type PHP, or I can do Control N to get down to it that way. And then you can also type tab twice to get into folders. Oops. So you can get into folders that way, and then if you want to go back directories, you can type the delete, and that'll just take you back. So that automatically makes IV really cool. So essentially what IV does is it helps you basically get to where you are trying to go faster by using like a regular expression, or you can just type rather than have to know where things are at. So hopefully you can see the benefit of that. That's what Ivy does. And it works with a lot of different functions and packages. So you'll see Ivy being used in a lot of different places. So it works with Alt-X, and it works with uh, Control-X, Control-F, or Find File, and a bunch of other things. And it, a lot of other packages use it to help improve their package as well. Before we enable Swiper, let's go ahead and try out the default Emacs searching, which is iSearch. So if you do Control S, you'll get this prompt in the mini buffer called iSearch, and then you can enter the search term. So if I do M, you know, Control S, and then I type in the search term M, it'll give me uh, all of the options. So I can scroll through them with S or Control S and see all of the terms and then if you want to do a reverse search you can do control R to go backwards that works 
and then you can you know um, narrow down your search term by doing more searches and that's all fine but now let's go ahead and try Swiper. Swiper is an alternative to iSearch and at the time of doing this video I haven't researched iSearch so I don't know what sort of features it has that Swiper does not but I do know that Swiper is a pretty cool tool so I'm just gonna go ahead and um, enable it here and install it. Swiper relies on Ivy so if you don't have Ivy installed and you install Swiper then Ivy will be installed as a dependency so um, Swiper relies on Ivy but Ivy doesn't necessarily rely on Swiper so anyway with that said we're going to go ahead and copy this copy and paste this code either from my website on the blog post or in github uh, the Swiper page they have it and I already have it here so I'm just going to line comment this code and then we'll go ahead and save and then we'll want to install Swiper so we can do alt x package install Swiper okay and then we can eval buffer and now we should have Swiper available with Swiper installed and enabled let's go ahead and try running the control S again for what would normally be iSearch but is now Swiper and so now we see it kinda looks a lot like um, Ivy but it works for iSearch also or with the search function too so uh, this is pretty cool because if we you know let's say we want to search for all the terms in swipe of where it says swiper so we get two options but we also get like a preview of what the text around that match looks like so we can see which one we want and we can also use control you know control P and control N to go up and down and see all of the uh, search terms so we can use swiper basically to search through our uh, file and we can also do use like a regular expression so we could do global uh, So you can see how we can enter a space and we can start make a more detailed search but we don't have to type everything so we can add a space I believe we can even do I'm not sure exactly how but uh, but yeah so you can use swiper like this to search and narrow down your search and it basically just makes it easier to search through because it gives you previews and you can use um, you know spaces and regular expressions to do your searching and I hope it goes without saying the one that you want to select you just press enter and then it takes you there take puts your cursor on that line and that is swiper council is the last thing we'll talk about in this video and it basically gives you certain extra functions and features on um, on certain commands so for example, if you do without cancel council control X control F to do the find file and then let's say you're about ready to open a file. So we'll want to open this dot emacs tilde file, for example. Uh, if, you, if we just hit enter, it's going to open, right? But we have different options and if you do alt O, then you get these different types of options and I'm not sure exactly how they work all of them but uh, you, you've got these options here and so um, Alto will give you those options and then council gives you more options that you don't have by default and uh, council may do other things I'm not sure based on the documentation but it does I, mean, I know for a fact that at least it does this 
So that's without council. And now let's go ahead and install council. Okay, so we'll install council. So altx package install uh, and we'll do council. Okay, and I believe we need to eval the buffer, so I'm gonna open the Emacs file and eval buffer. And now let's go ahead and try it again. So control X, oh wait, no. Um, and so basically what we'll wanna do is instead of having control X, control F be find file, it'll we'll have to move or change the binding CX, CF, or control X, control F to equal council find file. So instead of doing CX, CF, since we haven't rebound it yet, we'll do alt X, council find file. Okay, and then we'll do dot Emacs, the tilde, and we'll do alt O again. And now we've got a bunch of other options that you can see. Oops, I don't know what I did there. Uh, so if you want to not just open it, but maybe open it in another window, we can press J. And then now all of a sudden we've opened this file in a different window rather than you know, opening it in the current window. So that's super cool. Let's say you wanna add a different command to the, the, one of the options or edit an existing command. So for example, on my Linux computer, I don't use windows, I use frames. So we could change this to other frame and you could also choose to delete a file. And those are just two examples. Uh, those are not available by default, so we can edit those. We can do that in our .emacs file. Uh, what I would do to get there is, if I can get out, uh, you can check out the source code. I'm not sure if this is the correct way to do it, but it's as good as I could find. Uh, so we can go to our uh, the council source code. We can take a look at it. And I kind of know what I'm looking for because I already did, I already looked around it a little bit, but if you do, you do a search for other window, you can see a couple of, um, you know, settings where this was set up. And so we've got this IV set actions code. And it talks about it in the manual, but it um, when you set it up uh, without the other ones, it kind of deletes all the other options. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste. So IV set actions, I'm gonna copy all the existing ones and then paste it to my .emacs file. So we'll go down to the bottom and I'll paste it here. So we've got this IV set actions. And let's see here. I'm going to change this to frame. And then change that to frame. And we'll add the delete action. I have already got it copied, but it's basically just this. Uh, and you can find it in my um, on the blog post uh, in the description of the video. But it's basically D is the hotkey, delete hyphen file, or delete file is the command or the Emacs command, and then delete here is the hint of the explanation of what D does. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this and eval the buffer, the dot Emacs. That way we can reset it. And now we'll go ahead and try again. So alt x, cancel find file. And let's go ahead and open up something. It doesn't matter what we'll do. But instead of opening it, we'll do alt o. And now we have j for other frame, d for delete, um, etc. So let's go ahead and try j. And there it is. So we have edited our actions and added a new one. So I think the last thing we'll talk about here is just my config, quick uh, sampling or the full config. Basically, we just have you know Ivy mode one to turn it on by default. And then these two, I'm not exactly sure what they do, but they're recommended by the um, the project maintainer. 
and or this one as well. And then these basically just this replaces iSearch with Swiper, and this gives the MX command or Alt X command some council fe council and IV features. Um, all of the stuff that you see with council in front of it or IV in front of it is basically the exact same thing as it was, but with IV and council features in it. And so that's pretty much it. And then I didn't know what this did, so I commented it out because I'm lazy. And, and then last thing is these are two action sets of uh, commands where, you, where when you run Alt-O, in the middle of a command, it happens. So, so like like we did earlier, you know, CXB, and then you pick a file, and then also those. That's what these are. But this one is for uh, for when you run CXB, and then. This one's when you run council find file. So you can adjust these for any of those commands that you use. And I've got J to be set to find file other frame instead of another window because my main computer is a Linux computer. But uh, so, you, so you may not want to, you may want to have this be window. And then this one will also probably want to be window. So, but yeah, that's the config, and then obviously check out the Swiper GitHub page, and then there's a user manual that it's linked to, but I'll link to these in the website post. Um, so yeah, that's, I hopefully this is a helpful video, and again, subscribe to the channel, and have a good day.